Hello. How are you doing? Okay. Right, today, this morning, we've got a... a uh, this is a turnstile relay PCB. Problem we got, there's... Black. Black in it. There's an intermittent something on it. So, and we're going to have a look at that. Got a bit of black around the bridge rectifier, and then there's a 24 volt regulator there on a heat sink. Uh, we're gonna have a look at that as well. So, first thing we're gonna do is maybe put some power on it. Uh, we can measure it, and uh, we need to put some power in it AC. It's 24 volt AC to put into that. So that's the first thing we got to do. Find some 24 volt AC. Let's have a look. We've got some rescued stuff here. Uh, don't know what this is. So we have to re we have to we have to try this. We've got some rescued. Um, Transformer, toroidal transformer. So we could try that, I suppose. Let's just uh, put some mains on that. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is bring Bring out the uh, mains adapter, and we're live. So we'll do that. Excuse me. I haven't got dressed yet. Never mind. Okay. Right. So here we go. Let's just check if we're streaming. Should be streaming. Yes, yeah, so I see if we're streaming. I haven't uh, put a video out for a while, so we'll have a look at this. Let's uh, have a look at the streaming. Looks like we're streaming. Yeah. Okay. YouTube. And just change the title of this. Videos. Live. Let's go on to. I oh, can't change it yet. For some reason I can. Details. Right. Okay. Get out of there, and we've got a turn style, a turn style uh, solenoids control PCB intermittent. Intermittent um, fail, fail, repair attempt. That will do. Okay, so I'll save that.
looks good okay let's have a look at this then so what I'm going to do is wire some mains up to this transformer got a toroidal transformer here out of the scrap and we'll just put some mains on it and see if we've got 24 volts AC because we'll need 24 volt AC to go into this input From let's just strip back the uh, the wires. I'm gonna have to put that into a box really one day. I think it's 24 volt. We shall soon find out. So what we're gonna do now is put some meter a meter crop on it. Got the clip ones ready. Oh yeah. Let's just get the meter up. Uh, so what we want uh, on the hand take? Uh, PSU volts. There's the meter. Right, there's the meter. Okay. So let's get some different. Oh, there's no probes in it anyway. That's so, alright. To get some pro bleeds, we'll aim a fit in there, I don't know. Yes, they will. Keep, uh, I keep exposing myself here. Well, should have got changed, really. Sorry. Right. Well, I've got some some of these crocs, so I'm going to put these on here. That's it. Right, we'll find out what the voltage is. What the real voltage is. Uh, what do we want? Okay. We're on volts ace DC. We need to go on volts. Volts, we're on 200 volts. Um, 200 volts AC, there you go. Right, I'm going to switch it on. I don't even know if it works, so I'll give it a try. Okay, here we go. Oh, we've got 31 volts. That's, that's okay, because it's going to be a bridge rectified anyway. Okay. Yeah, 30, 31 volts we got coming out of this toroidal transformer. I'm not going to touch it, there's no earth on it. You can just see it out of shot there. Okay, so that's good. Right, let's turn it off a minute. I'm going to put this into the input of the bridge rectifier. We've got a bridge rectifier there. Just going to have a look at where the input is. It's two middle pins. And they go out to there and there. So if I put that into there, just screw that into there, and I'll be fine. So I'll wind to here. Yeah, I've got to get this out of the way. <laughs> I've got to get back on with my programming. So I've got to get this tested. This is just this for this is for work. This one job for work so right. okay so we've got the power going in all right I need to swap probes now I need to go to probes that uh... oh, actually we could just clip onto it I do need to monitor the um, what's coming out of it so let's let's do that I'll go on to DC 20 volts, no, it'll have to be 200 volts. 200 volts DC. I'll get one of these onto the bottom of the bridge rectifier if I can get it on. Can I get it on? I just need to go on negative. Actually, I could pull it over here, couldn't I? Follow it through. So the negative side is my side, yeah. 
there's the negative side common and it goes through to common there so that pit that pin is that pin there is common yeah so if I go onto there that's my zero volts or my common okay I need to not find the plus now the DC out uh, which should be this one coming out on this one here that, through that fuse, out the fuse and what's that doing? out the fuse seems to disappear off the, through these relays Easy to get hold of a DCA. Okay, so we're going to do that. Clip onto a component DCA. Yeah, so the leg of that one there. Okay. Alright, so we've got it. So the leg of, leg of this, there's a leg of, there's a leg of um, a resistor down. I can't get to it. Tell you what. Let's just take the fuse holder cover off and clip onto the fuse holder. The other side of the fuse, let's see. Quite easy to clip hold of. Make them easy though. Right, that's that. Okay, so we're gonna snap down snap down the mains adapter which is this here and that will switch on the circuit here you go ready well, I've got an LED lit up we've got 23.8 volts DC coming out to the fuse which is the past the reg the bridge rectifier past the, past the 24 volt regulator past the smoothing ca reservoir capacitor We've got a red light on. So what we can do now is just have a play with this. I'm not that's intermittent apparently. So the regulator is sort of doing its job. So we've got an intermittent fault somewhere. That's not gonna be easy to find because it is actually lit up and everything at the minute. not going to be easy here yeah, without some kind of load on it and uh, without hooking the hooking this up to a load of solenoids and things it's difficult to find the, the load um, we can measure the DC the ripple on it let me just switch here let's get the oscilloscope up hang on a minute Where's your scope? The oscilloscope. There you go. Not a lot of wires in front of this scope. Hold on a minute. There's still a lot of wires. So yeah. yeah. Right, so we've got the scope on. Let's find the scope lead. Right, let's, let's measure the ripple. So we're gonna we're gonna have to measure. Um, go and clip onto that, and onto there. Right, that'll give us that, and I'll go on auto. What's it do? Auto. We're on auto. Oh, hang on, auto setup. Wrong button. Right, that will should narrow down the range. Is it showing me anything? Right, so we've got something there, not showing you a lot. So what does it say we've got? Let's just narrow down the uh, the time scale. Sorry. 
down so you can see let's increase the no. seem to be a lot of ripple which is weird let's just bring down the scale didn't really do very and we do an auto setup again anything like that don't know how to use his modern scope <laughs> Got my old one somewhere. A Gould. Got a gold, old Gould scope. Let's just dial it up, thing. So we've got what we've got here. Microseconds. Nanoseconds. That doesn't seem to be enough. Mind you. Oh no, that's better. Let's dial this down a bit. I don't know what it's doing. Milliseconds. I thought there'd have been a lot more ripple on that, so I don't know. I'm not impressed really. I don't know what I'm doing with it. <laughs> even on the right channel. That's a point here I am. I'm on the right channel. DC coupling. Uh, it's gone to AC. of a tool if I don't know what I'm doing with it. Alright. Showing me nothing. at this. Well, I can't even get it on the scale. There it is. I don't know what it's doing. What's it doing? It's not doing anything. Well, it can't be that good a circuit. It's not letting any ripple through. Surely it's got to let some ripple through. Oscilloscope course with them modern ones. Right. Well, I'll tell you what I can do. I can measure the. Can measure the AC. Measure the AC coming in, and then see. Ripple, isn't it? Oh my god. 
a good song, Life. So we've got uh, 50 hertz. Share the voltage. DC 80 milliamps. Triggered on the rising edge. take them out. It's taking it longer than I thought this is. I'm just going to take them out and measure this transformer directly. Need to see a, a nice pure sine wave there. scope of for the old meters. Anyway. It's not a pure sine wave, is it? By no means. Anyway. Right. Let's wire it back up. Put the inputs back in. Far too long this is, and I've got work to do. I can't find anything wrong at the minute. Let's just measure the DC now. Have a cup of tea. Right, let's try again. Better calibrated now. Right, here we go. Nothing. Why have we got nothing? No, we have got nothing. That's reserve and pushed it down enough. And to push the lid down. Now we've got some power. Oh, that's 
percent. So we've got something. See what we got, 23.8 volts still, that's okay. Let's get rid of the scope a minute. Could I justify that scope somehow? How much did it cost me? Nearly 400 quid, was it? Something like that. All right, so I've got to justify um, getting some use out of it, really. That particular one. Still got the old one, I was going to sell the old one. Right. Okay, so we've got some AC. There's no load on it. We need to put a bit of load on this to test it. What have we got load wise? 24 volt load. Something to stress out. It's to be something like a coil of a solenoid or a couple of coils. Got anything load wise here? Oh, yeah, I've got these things. Yeah, I've got. Didn't I make some wires up? What did I do with the rest of them? Yeah, I made, I made some loads up. What did I do with them? What's with them? Kind of dummy load, I think, adjustable load for the future. I used to use a bulb. Anyway, I think we'll have a look under the microscope next, see if we can see any movement. That's probably the best thing. Right, so you've got voltage. I can't find an intermittent fault without really a load being drawn, so that's out of the question. I'll get rid of the power, get set up to use the microscope. We're, we're mostly set up for that anyway. Alright, get rid of the transformer. Get rid of the probes. Put the cap back on. And turn it upside down. We're not going to see much here, so. Get rid of that uh, power adapter. Right, we need to get the microscope on the go. Let's switch the microscope on. USB meter. Where are we looking? Mas mas microscope. There is your microscope. Okay, so we need to switch over now to microscope down cam. There we go. Okay, well, how am I going to hold this still? That's going to be the problem next. Yeah, because I've actually hot melt glued my. That's it, I just pulled it up. I've got a stand here. Let's get it back in the stand. Uh, let's see if we're the right way up even. Not far off. What do we got there? That's the corner. Okay, so we're close. 
that's it. Let's go up. Uh, we need more light. Let's have some light on it. There we go. A bit more light. Focus will be out. Let's get plenty of light on. Let's try to focus in on these. These joints. Alright, so we're going to do a bit of a wobble test. Just a wobble now. Okay. Put a new um, ship. It's taking too long. Let's have a little wobble. Good at the minute. Capacitor. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing there. Bridge rectifier. Looks good. We'll just put a new bridge rectifier on it. Can't really see anything wrong. That don't look good, does it? There. That there. I don't. Where are we looking? That doesn't look too good there. Let's find out what that is. That's a good find an intermittent fault. More than likely the solenoid's gone and it's dragging the internal protection on the regulator. And the regulator's shutting down. More than likely the fault is. But why when you touch it would it make a difference? So what we'll do, we'll just clean those up a bit. Let's go back to the other view a minute. I'll just clean some of those um, ends up. Let's just get rid of that a minute. Out of the way. Switch on the solder iron. Um, let's just do solder. We uh, need to wet our sponges now. going to do is we're going to desolder this area and resolder it. I'm just eating up the desoldering de tool and what we're doing next is we don't need the hot air gun for this. So what I, what I need next is 
need to find a regulator let me find a regulator a 24 volt regulator set of screwdrivers, I haven't even used them yet. Uh, they were hiding somewhere else. So. Okay. Right, regulator. I don't know whether I'll be able to find a regulator, we'll give it a go. We used to have loads of regulators. That's uh, not the right one. What's this one? No. Yeah, it's just, I, I must have another tin of regulator somewhere. Let's just have a look at that one. Let's put this on here a minute. Have a look at this one. What we got? Twenty foot. Can't even focus on that. Let's just uh, bring that down to the floor. Drop it still. And of course, you can't see it. Too much light. Now you can see it. Seven, eight, twelve. So it's a twelve volt regulator. That's no good. That's another 7812. What the one is a 7824? Just remembering where I put them all. Oh, hang on, what's that one? 7812. There's another 12 volt regulator, the same as the last one. Different manufacturer there. 7808 volts. That's going to be another 12, yeah. Got some somewhere, I just don't know where I put them. 12 volt. What we got here? Uh, it's a volt current regulator, I think. Or adjustable regulator. What's that? 12 volt. What did I do with all those 24 volts that regulators I had? Oh, that's a MOSFET, I think. I was after a MOSFET for something, wasn't I? What was I after for that other power supply? Uh, I'll leave that one out just in case, that's the one I want. And that one, that's another one of those. A blue one up. It's a variable voltage regulator. Three one seven. Yeah. Eight volt again. Doesn't look good at the minute. Uh, I don't know. Don't know what that one is. So I have to look in another box now. It's going to be one of my old stock from ages ago. Uh, the trouble is I can't remember what I did with it old stock from years ago mm. yeah so we haven't got one any there that's a shame thought there might be a 24 volt regulator in amongst that lot right what else can we have a look at One of these, just incidentally. Oh, it's a 100 milliamp 12 volt regulator, they're quite handy. Okay. So that's going to help us there on this occasion. And I don't know what I've done with them. How am I going 
to f replace that. 24 volt. <coughs> what have I done with those regulators? Haven't seen them for a while. Long time haven't seen them. I'll have a quick look. Um, quick look. Found something, I don't know what it is. Uh. Oh, look at that! <laughs> That's one of them. How oh, lucky is that? It's one of my old stock. That's brilliant. Right. Okay. That is good. Yes, it's an L7824. Uh, it's probably a one, one amp voltage regulator so I'll just swap that over now the only thing is the one in it is an S version so is the S version more powerful let's have a look oh dear let's turn off the scope a minute where's the scope Oscilloscope, don't want the oscilloscope, don't need the meter. Leave the meter on. Right, so we got a, a, a 78S24. Let's see what that says about that one. Gonna show me a data sheet or is it just gonna mess around? Right. Fixed voltage output, yeah. Oh two amp. It's a two amp. Mm. Output is two amp. And the one I've got to replace it with is it's definitely only a one and a half amp. So that's not good. Let's have a look. Uh, output 1.5 amp. Yeah, mm. that's a bit of a problem then. Okay. Mm. It's not the right. It's not the right amp current. Oh well. Tell you what, let's unsolder it. Let's take the solder off and see what we're dealing with. Got the old desoldering good. Okay. 
Here we go. Single-sided board, these are single-sided, so not very good. Tell you what, let's take the whole thing off. If you can. Oh. It's taking time, isn't it, this? Get some more heat on the go. Just some more heat. Double the heat. Time is going anyway, so that's oh, seven o'clock. Good God, shit! I've got time for nothing. these things so you can work on them really because they're single sided plus it's been overheated already so it doesn't take much to to wreck it which it's already done just lifted that pad up I suppose what we could do is fold it over Of Sorin's resin flux. I call it Sorin because uh, that's where I copied the uh, the formula. Okay, let's get some solder on it. I can't put that other regulator on because it's not the right ampage. So let's get this soldered here. set up really. It's too it's too uh, it's too hot. I soldered the two legs together. That's too dirty. It's taking far too long, it's just, it's just a waste of time this is. It is a waste of time really. It's not it's 
sometimes this stuff's not really work workable. Might be better to take that off and just hardwire it. Hardwire the regulator somewhere else. It's a real mess now. some bigger solder of heat on it. It's not a workable solution, is it? Do a continuity test. Continuity test. Let's turn this one and stuff off. Can't work with this thick stuff. I'm set up for tiny stuff. Can't solder a great big chunk. some continuity to go on. So we've got continuity there, we've got earth. Nothing between the two, we've got input. That's gonna have to be do it, I can't really do it. Take the regulator with me to work, but it's going to be awkward to do anything with on this board with nothing. I've got no, I've nothing at work to do stuff with. So there we go. Right, that's the end of that one. I'll, I got. Um, I'll stop the stream and I'll do a, another live stream. I've got a quick unboxing. leave that for another day because we're going to do some work okay that's the end of the stream thank you for watching if you even did watch or maybe watch it later I don't care. right then goodbye
turning off. Where's the pointer? Stop stream.